Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping by the video. Uh, today we're going to be going through Torghast level 4 as a marksman hunter. Uh, first thing I want to talk about here before we get started, if you are a class that can solo Torghast easily, sell your runs. It's so easy to do, it's an easy way to make gold, and you're doing it anyways. Why not make the extra gold, and why not help somebody out who can't help themselves? With that being said, in the video, I'm going to kind of skip around mostly towards where I'm picking up good anima and talking about why I'm taking specific animas. Um, and we're going to try and get some one-shot mechanics on end bosses and different stuff like that. I don't think we actually ended up getting the one-shot mechanic, unfortunately, but we got pretty darn close and we were one-hitting mobs on level 16 through 18 um, up until that last boss. And it was It got really easy. We picked up some excellent anima powers and it was just a really solid run if you want to see episode 5 like the video comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i hope you enjoy peace he's on a time limit today we're only doing one um and then we're gonna do some later on this afternoon i believe but who knows um I, that's that's an okay one if i can get those to stack and i can get my uh aim shots to stack Yeah, so if I can get my aim shots to stack and my hunter's mark to stack, it makes it a lot better. It just makes things go a lot more smooth. And uh, I, I, I'm sure most of us by at this point have had plenty of time to kind of go through Torghast and understand how it works. Um, I just want to iterate, reiterate how important it is, especially as like a hunter. Uh, when you're heavily relying on a couple of main animal powers to give you what you need to boost you up. Um, how important it is to just literally clear everything. Get everything that you can possibly get. Uh, just to make it a little easier on yourself. And then if you are a marksman hunter who's struggling with killing mobs, it, you pull, you know, a couple at the same time. First, make sure you're always misdirecting to your pet. It's it's going to help you incredibly. It's going to make your life that much easier. Um, and then always make sure you're using your binding shot as well, because it, it is such a such a useful utility, especially when your pet dies or you know you get sucked in by something. You just ha you have that binding shot, and not all the time will you uh, be able to misdirect onto your pet, um, because if you're not pulling only elite elite elites. Um, you're actually going to, you know, be pulling a little bit quicker most of the time. And even though we do lose, you know, 10% damage being a hunter and having a pet, um, it's still extremely important that you use your pet in Torghast because I don't know if, you know, I don't know if you can kite it you know, um, I don't know if you can kite everything. There is an anima power that makes your tar trap ridiculously overpowered. Um, and that one's really freaking nice, but, uh, I've only seen it drop a couple times. So, you know, I don't heavily rely on that at all. So make sure, you know, I, I personally never have anything, um, as far as pets on my bars, unless I'm in a mythic, mythic plus, and I am, for whatever reason, there's no mage, there's, you know, no shaman, and we need the lust, I'll then put it on my bars, but the majority of the time, I don't have anything related to my, my pet on my bars, so if you are a marksman hunter, make sure you're putting your pet, and pet stuff on your bars, if you're going into Torghast, so you don't forget to heal, and all that good stuff, it just makes life easy. Got to got to stop forgetting my hunter's mark. Velcane. He's here, boys. Velcane is here, boys. Uh, later, bitch. Give me my phantasma. Thank you, sir.
Jesus, that guy's fucking... That ice trap is giant. I think that's hilarious. Let's see if this Shadow Priest is gonna pull. Oh, he did end up going disc. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. He can help keep my pet up too, which is actually super freaking helpful. Just because uh, keeping your pet up is such an inconvenience when you're in here, especially when you don't ever use a pet. I've actually never played any other spec other than Marksman. Uh, I'm definitely going to take the damage there. But yeah, I, I've never played any other spec aside from Marksman. So, it, like, Learning Torghast for me was, it really helped me learn my class a little bit more in general because you have to know when you're rooting, you have to know what you're doing and why you're doing it, you know, like Torghast is, I, I think Torghast, Blizzard bringing Torghast into the game really um, will help a lot of people in the long run um, because you really have to know how to utilize your class especially if you're a class that can solo it or you have the capability of soloing it you just can't for whatever reason um me personally that was that was a big issue for me um when the game you know Torghast first came out is i wasn't familiar with my class enough to play efficiently so I, I was I was struggling with Torghast when I when I was first going through it and I had no idea why like it, it just made no sense and everybody's like dude what's wrong with you why can't you sell the Torghast blah 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 I, I was just like okay there's clearly something wrong with me if other marksman hunters are doing it with ease like I need to step my game up and I need to figure it out and I really like Torghast really made me step my game up quite a bit and uh I hope, it, I hope it's uh, I hope it's helping all of you as well. I try not to look at it so much of it as a chore, um, and more of uh, this is a training opportunity, you know, because that way, that way it's not so tedious. Got a nice little rare, yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to get to him, but I don't see why we wouldn't be able to get to him. So again, we're just killing everything for maximum Phantasma um, and all that good stuff. Let's see if this opens all three. Nope, just the one. I'm wondering how we get to that rare. I'd really like to get that. Usually the, the rare powers in Twisting Corridor, I mean, I guess they're all the same across the board. Um, so Tar Trap increased by 100% would be extremely useful if I had the Tar Trap slow by like 100%. But I'm going to take the increased... Um, oh, it is just a... It's just, Okay. It's one of these. Okay. I hate I, I, I these 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 are annoying to me. And really honestly make sure that you're treating these bosses just like a regular rotation when you are in here. Use it as an opportunity to practice your single target rotations, you know, if you're struggling with something um, first and foremost, obviously we're not in our single target rotation, but on those bosses, the, the main difference is you're going to have careful aim, steady focus, and 
Yeah, so, uh, so you're going to have steady, careful aim and steady focus if you were in a... So if you were in a um, raiding scenario on a single target boss, you're going to take careful aim and steady focus. And even though you don't have uh, careful aim, you can still pretend, oh, hey, um, you know, you, you can still pretend that you're casting those steady shots every what, 13 seconds or 12 seconds, however long it is, um, on those single target fights. Because early on in Torghast, especially uh, Twisting Corridors, you're not going to be one-shotting bosses. It's not going to be a quick, easy run-through of the bosses. Um, so use it as your opportunity to better yourself and better your rotation. Because, I mean, that's what you should want. Even if it's not your main class, to be more well-rounded and well-versed uh, on more than just your main is important. Whether you know it, you know, whether it's evident to you or not, it makes you a better player all around. To know how other classes work, it's it's really important. Especially if you're a PvP or that's my that's my personal biggest like issue is PvP. I suck ass at PvP. Um and I, th I, I credit that to two things. One, not fully understanding how every class works. And two, um, you know, not 100% understanding how my class works. Uh, so Hunter was actually my first class I ever played uh, when I started playing the game when I was like 12. I'm 25 now for reference. No, I was probably younger than I because I was like in fifth grade when I started playing this game. But I'm 20, 25, I'll be 26 this year for reference, and, like, that was my first class. And I thought I knew everything about the game then, and after I quit, I never touched a Hunter again. And then this expansion, I was like, you know what, I'm playing Hunter again. And it's been a lot to learn. Um, definitely not the hardest class I've ever learned. I've played Pally Warrior, played a lot of different classes over the years. Um, but Hunter's probably been one of my favorite classes to learn of all. They're just a really enjoyable class. There's a lot of utility that they have. And, it, you know, how you play them really, really determines what you get out of them. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. You know, I, I'll, I'll take that extra 9% crit. That's, that's solid, solid. You start you start pairing that nine percent crit. You get three of those, and three of your aim shot increase by fifty percent. It's it's GG's from there. And then believe it or not, these mall rats, uh, the 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 anima power that increases your health by whatever percent every time you kill a mall rat that's incredibly helpful as well in twisting corridors i feel obviously there's still those one shot mechanics that are going to kill you uh but if you can dodge if you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a boss fucking ground pummel you know like i find it amazing how many people struggle with simple mechanics and i get it like my actually my girlfriend's my girlfriend's learning right now uh she just recently started playing the game and uh I, I, she's doing really well learning mechanics and understanding them and like I don't know she's the she's not a gamer she's never really been a hardcore gamer but she's absolutely fallen in love with World of Warcraft and I think that if she can pick it up and she can learn not to stand in things I think that she I think a lot of people are capable of it. you just got to know what you're doing and how you're why you're doing it I guess if that makes any sense I was really hoping we'd get another rare behind that. That would have been spectacular. Three rares on the first floor. That's unheard of. 
So we did end up getting a good floor either way, just be based on the fact that we did get two rares. Um, we're gonna leave with minimum eight anima power unless one of these two drops something. Um, and I'll call that a good first floor. Eight anima on the first floor is, that's pretty solid. I like that. Man, like I, once we start getting these aim shots, the, like it, it gets nutty. Let's see, is there anything behind here at all? Uh, oh yeah, we, we are gonna leave with nine. Nine anima, I forgot we had the quest. I didn't even think about that. Ten soul remnants on the first floor. We're leaving the first floor with thirteen in pre intellect agility and stamina. Absolutely spectacular. Let's go, there it is. Aim shot increased by 50%. Taking it all day long, baby. We're getting, this is gonna be a really good run. I can already feel it. Um, this'll be fun. Headed up to floor two. We're gonna help hold on the Lord of Locks and get the ads just because it makes it easier. And that's a really good strategy to use there. Um, with if you do pull more than one thing, you get that misdirect on your pet. They get close to you. Use your bursting shot to get them off of you. And nine times out of ten, that'll that'll get that'll be enough. Um, uh, that'll be enough taunt mechanic to get them off of you permanently and can i have a hunter's mark please i feel like the ads or like these this elite feels hard i guess i don't have all my cooldowns granted but You know what I just realized? And no, we don't we don't take volley here. That's why you take everything, my boys. Another I'm at a hundred percent aim shot, second floor, ninth anima power. Yeah, juicy baby, juicy. Absolutely chunking these dudes now. I'm gonna reset all data here. I like to see what I'm doing, purple.
That's that's a huge one too. Um, kill shot increased by 100%. And then on top of it, you can also get 25% chance of uh, getting an instant kill with kill shot. Uh, on bosses that have you know close to 10 million health at the end of the dungeon, if you're like, I I, I haven't experienced it yet. I'm sure it happens, but. Most of the time, if you're not, you know, completely obliterating them, that 25% that chance to kill them at like 2 million health when they're at 25% is significant. It is really good and really important because you'll get at least two or three casts off um, of that. And whether it's when you're at 2 million health or you're at 1 million health, you know, it, it's still a major, major upgrade for you. There's going to be some anima over there and some anima up here. I'll take it. This is a really good run. Okay, trap snares will target by an additional 15%. That's the one I was talking about, but we're actually still low. So we're going to take the haste over the additional stip snare for now. We want to get that up as high as possible. Now, right now we're sitting at 17%, which is, you know, not super high, but it's not super low. No! No, shit! On the fact that, as you can see, I'm doing 409k and he's doing 72k uh, per pool, so... It's just uh, common sense, I guess. So if you're still watching the video, why don't you do me a favor, comment below and tell me what your favorite anima power is for what class that you play. If you're playing a marksman hunter, what is your favorite anima power that you pick up in Torghast? Enemies affected by any of your traps deal 25% less damage. Okay, I mean, that's not my favorite one, but it'll do. Uh, fuck it. I, I always forget to put my damn hunter's mark on this thing. So, a cool thing about, um, you know, wild spirits. I don't know if this works for the Kyrian ability. Uh, somebody let me know, actually. But wild spirits will apply a hunter's mark to your target while it is active. I guess we'll take the shield, I suppose. I'm not taking a ton of damage, so the five minutes might get maximized a lot more than it wouldn't. So we'll try and use that to our be the best of our abilities. I think I may have missed a couple things there, but typically you're going to get everything. Especially when you're OCD about it like me. I'm so OCD about making sure that I get everything into Orgast. There's a really cool anima power that will automatically open everything around you, um, like cages, and that's really nice to have as well. Certain anima cells will offer an additional choice. So I'm going to just take that just to be safe. Uh, that The misdirect one is super common. I see it all the time. Um... We're going to actually take the crit crit chance. That's a no-brainer for me. I always grab all the anima cells that I can. And instead of using those here, I'm going to use my Phantasmic Infuser. And we picked up 200 haste. So that's a 30 minute timer on that. And that'll be extremely helpful. Uh, you can get that by becoming, I believe it's just like the second rank of reputation with Venari. Uh, I personally made a promise to myself that I would never do the mall stuff until, like, up until the point where I got cordial. I was like, I'm done with the mall until I get a mount for the mall. Because I, I can't do the mall without a mount anymore. Like, it's it's not, I don't enjoy being in the mall at all. 
And for the most part, guys, I'm using things on cooldown. I save, like, my um, wild spirits a lot of the times, just in case there's an oh shit moment where we pull a bunch of stuff that we didn't mean to. Um, but, you know, true shot and double tap, I'm, I'm using that on, on CD for the most part. I'll usually wait until I get to an elite with for my true shot, but you know, in in here we're we're seeing elites quite a bit. Let's see if this guy will open it for me. I'll take that. That's just an extra boost of DPS. And down this hall literally is my favorite spot in all of Torghast because there's usually an ass load of anima down here, and I love it. It's absolutely spectacular. Typically, anyways, yeah, we might get one, two, three, possibly down here. We'll see what happens. Alright, so here I'm going to misdirect my pet, and we're just gonna launch this shit out. Oh no, why did he do that? Why did you do that? We might die here. My, my primary focus here is gonna be this elite, because everything else will die. I'm getting the anima or the misdirect back on every single time it's available now. And my pet's gonna die. I'm gonna feign death and revive. Oh, that's not good. Trap those dudes there, get him some time. This guy's gonna come and hit me, but I've got time. Okay, we're, we're, we're in good shape now. That got a little dicey pretty freaking quick. Like, it, it seems like nothing worked there. Like, it, the priest started healing me, or I don't know what happened, but he immediately took aggro, and I couldn't hold anything from him. So there's one that we're getting, one animal power from this room. I'm going to take the verse because I'm not really too worried about getting healed in here since I do have a healer. And like I said, guys, I know I have a healer and I know, oh, you're not soloing as a marksman hunter. You have a healer. No, I'm I'm soloing the damn it's or the damn poor gas. Like this, this, this priest could be here. I, you know what? For the next floor, I'm going to go in by myself and I'm going to do it by myself just to show you, hey, this is doable by yourself. You don't need a healer. This guy wouldn't be paying me that much if he thought that uh, I needed a healer for him. Absolutely melted. A little rare. Yeah, it is. Just two, three, three from this area so far. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Wild Spirits cooldown just because it helps to have it up as much as possible. And I'm actually gonna hold, I'm gonna kill these guys so I can get Wild Spirits up for that rare. I don't think he's gonna be an issue, but it's, it's just nice to kill the rares easy. Especially, they have more health, like why wouldn't I wanna kill them easier? I don't even know if I'll... I think it's still going to be on cooldown by the time I start attacking this thing, though.
So we're taking away five anima power here, which is pretty solid. The obvious, the obvious power here is the increased haste. The other two, to me, are quite useless. What are you doing? Like. I don't know how that last one hit me, but whatever. Oh, now we're ramping up, baby. I'm gonna put a hunter's mark on him now because wild spirit oh he's dead before we even get done with the wild spirits phase i'll take it all right that's another increased 15 percent damage we're gonna take that over the wild spirits cooldown this time for obvious reasons 30 percent damage on from increase from hunter's mark as well as the 100 percent damage from the aim shot now Nice and easy, baby. Just like that. It's easy, chat. Wait, I'm not streaming. What the fuck do I mean, chat? Mountain Dew sponsor me, question mark? Eh, whatever. One day, maybe. This is huge. Oh my God. Increases your critical strike chance by 100% and critical damage by 100% by for six seconds. Oh my God. And we'll take the soul remnants. And there's our tar trap. Well, wow, that's increased by 100%. Your mastery is increased by 30%, but your arcane damage and healing done is reduced by 25%. 
I'm gonna take the Wild Spirit CD here. This is the level nine, floor nine boss, or floor six boss, sorry, I don't know what the hell I'm smoking. Easy does it. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. So this, I don't know, I don't think that's useful, to be honest, and I don't really pool big enough to make that matter. I'm going to take that though still, that, that's, those are, I just don't feel like two of the, two of those the other ones that I didn't pick should be elite. Like, I really don't at all. Don't care for this move. Dude, we literally just redid the fucking... What is this? F, my man just got one shot. Shadow word with my ass. I think you got charged. I think you got charged and got fucked. Dropping any pet trap, dropping any trap increases you and your pet's damage by 25%. So, oh, that's Pepega. That combination. Um, so, Sigil of Skuldus and Acrobat's Razor is pretty fucking Pepega. Oh my god, that's huge, dude. Oh. So we just picked up another Sigil of Skuldus. So we're 50% damage to increase whenever we drop a fucking trap. Good lord.
You want to kill my fucking pet, dude? No. Oh, we're going to... We're just going to put that on there for shits and gigs. We're going to double tap. We're going to do that. 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 And we're going to do this. And I didn't even have a trap down. I'll take it. I didn't have a trap down. It's pretty much GG. All right, here we go. Floor 18, layer four, Torghast, Marksman Hunter. We finally made it. Let's do this damn thing. Oh man, the fucking 50% health thing just screwed me. Hardcore. She's just one hitting my pet right here. We're just gonna kite this chick. I don't know how my pet keeps coming back alive. He's like, one last battle, one last battle. Oh uh, shit. And it, it's just done just like that, boys and girls. Uh, let's take a look at this Helm of Damnation real quick. I'll let you guys take a peek at that. Um, Where the hell is it? Uh, okay. Is it just... Oh, it just adds to your toy box automatically. Oh. Okay. So this is the Helm of Damnation. This is what we're looking like. It's kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of fucking sick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're going to be back with Layer 5, if not today, tomorrow, some point in time. We'll get that uploaded for you. Uh, again, in Marksman Hunter carry in for gold if you want to make some gold in your class that can carry i do highly suggest that you do so uh, you can make some good gold from it as you saw in the video this guy didn't even finish the run with me he still gave me half and uh, we're gonna finish it up later on today again thank you so much links to twitch links to twitter are in the description please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i appreciate your time peace